Welcome. Today we're going to be taking a look at Parks. This is a 1-5 to five player worker placement resource management travel game where you take the role of two hikers trekking different trails throughout the year. You will be gathering resources, taking photos, buying gear, and visiting and reserving parks trying to have the most memorable year. How do you have the most memorable year and win the game? By having the most points after the fourth season or four rounds. Now that we know what the winning condition is, let's take a look at the components set up and how gameplay works in parks. Now let's look at the components. You have your main board, trailhead tile, trail end tile. The trail end tile has two sides, one for the solo game and one for the multiplayer game. Trail sites, park cards, season cards, year cards, gear cards, canteens cards, event cards, which is for the solo game, token trays that hold all of your resources and photos. In each tray you have water, forest, sunshine, mountain, and wildlife resources. And then to the side you have your photo tiles. In each of the five player colors, you have two hikers and one campfire tile. Then you have your camera tile, first player marker, and finally, your rule book. Now let's take a look at the setup. We're going to be setting this up for a two player game, which takes 12 steps. Step one, place the main board in the center of the play area. Step two, place the token trays to the left and the right of the main board within reach of all the players. Step three, shuffle, place, and deal park cards. You will shuffle the park cards and then place them face down on the park deck area which is on the top right of the main board. You will then deal the top three park cards face up next to the deck. Step four, shuffle place in deal gear cards. You will shuffle the gear cards and place them face down on the bottom right of the main board and then deal three face up next to the gear deck. Step five, shuffle place in deal canteens cards. Shuffle the canteens cards and place them on the main board and then deal one to each of the players. Step six, shuffle and deal year cards. You will shuffle the year cards and then you will deal two to each player. The player then will look at those two cards and choose one to keep and one to discard. The remaining year cards and the discarded year cards will go back to the box. Step seven, shuffle, place and deal season cards. Shuffle the season cards, place them on their indicated location on the left side of the main board, and then deal or turn up the top card for the first season of the game. Step eight, place the trailhead tile to the left below the main board. Step nine, separate, shuffle, and form your site stacks. You'll separate your basic sites from your advanced sites. All of the advanced sites have an asterisk on the tile. The waterfall site tile is a basic site, but is only used in a four to five player game. So in this case, we will remove the waterfall from the game. You will then shuffle the advanced sites and draw one at random from the advanced sites to then place in the basic site stack. And then you will take the basic site stack and shuffle them. Step 10, you will reveal and place sites. You will place your advanced sites to the left of the trailhead tile, and then you will reveal each of the tiles in the basic site stack next to the trailhead. And then you will place the trail in tile after the last site placed. Step 11, get player components. Each player will choose a color and then get two hikers and a campfire in that color. Players will place their hikers on the trailhead tile and the campfire tile face up or fire up in their play area. Step 12, select the first player. Give the first player marker to the player who went hiking most recently, and then you will give the camera tile to the player on the right of the first player. Now let's take a look at the gameplay. A game takes place over four seasons or rounds. Each season or round has three phases. Start of the season, player turns, and end of season. Now let's look at each phase in detail. Phase one, start of season. During this phase, you will read the season card and how it affects gameplay. Starting with the second site tile, you will place resources based on the weather pattern located in the bottom right corner of the season card. 
So for this season, it's the season of snow. You will gain one water resource if you gain any mountain resource on a turn. And then the weather pattern is sunshine, water, and water. Then we move to phase two, player turns. In turn order, players move one hiker and take one site action. If you are the first to a site tile that has a token from the weather pattern, you get that token as well. To use an occupied space, you must use your campfire tile. So you would flip it over to the extinguished side. A campfire relights when one of your hikers get to the end of the trail. Now let's look at some of the actions. For many of the sites, you will gain the resources located at the bottom of the site tile. So as you see here, two sunshine resources, a mountain resource, a forest resource, draw a canteen card, or turn in two tokens to take a photo and gain the camera tile, the lodge tile, you turn in two tokens to gain any other two tokens of your choice, excluding wildlife tokens, and two water. For the canteens cards, you would place them face up in your play area, and then to fill the canteen, you must gain a water token on your turn that you use the card. So for our first player, if they fill their canteen, they would gain two sunshine resources immediately. The water resource would then stay on the canteen card until the end of the season. Photo tiles and camera. When you visit the site, you would pay two resources for a photo and gain the camera tile. Or, if you already have the camera tile, you would only pay one resource. Then you have the trail end actions. The top, reserve a park. You would choose one of the three available park cards or the top face down park card and then you would place it in your play area and turn it horizontally. This is so you know that you need to visit it later to gain the points. The first player to reserve a park would place their hiker to the right of that space, indicating that they will get the first player marker for the next season or round. When someone chooses one of the face up park cards, you would simply refill that space with the top card from the deck. Next, buying gear. You would choose one of the three face-up gear cards, paying the cost in the top right corner. If you are the first player to buy gear, you would place your hiker on the first sunshine resource spot in that location. This indicates that you would gain a sunshine resource. If you're playing a four to five player game, the second sunshine space in that location is also available for the second hiker that buys gear. That player would also gain a sunshine resource. And then finally, visit a park. You would pay the resources, and then if it was one of your park cards turned horizontally, you would turn it vertically, and if it was one of the three face-up park cards, you would collect the card and place it vertically in your play area. So in this case, purple is our first player. When only one hiker is left on the trail, the player must move the hiker to the trail end and then choose one of the actions. So in this case, purple has to move their hiker to the trail end. Then we move to phase three, end of season. The player with the camera tile can get a photo for one resource. So in this case, purple can pay one resource to get a photo tile. Then you will empty your canteen cards of their water resources, return your hikers to the trailhead, Collect the trail sites, add an advanced trail site to that stack, shuffle, and then create a new trail. And finally, draw a new season card. Seasons or rounds will continue until the end of the fourth season or round and the photo end of the season action. Then we will move into the final scoring. The final scoring takes four steps. Step one, you will total all of the points from your visited park cards. Step two, you will add one point per photo tile. Step three, you will add one point for the start player marker. Step four, you will add points for your personal bonuses from your year cards. After you've totaled your number, the player with the most points has had the most memorable year and wins parks.